up everybody welcome back to just roll with it my name is quizly and i'm the dm of this wonderful campaign known as riptide my name is bisley and i play the bastard ship my name is condy and i play jay farron and today we have such a special guest please give a warm welcome to <laughs> jen sickle Woo! Yes! yes baby hey Jinsicle. Jinsicle. How did no. you get in the studio? You left the vents open. Oh, not we, again. We shouldn't have done that. Oh, Jinsicle. <laughs> no, no, no. Call security. Call security right now. Oh, no, man. No, you can't have mine. <laughs> no, no. Mine's safe. No, no. Yeah. Okay, we'll get you some chins, but first we're gonna play Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> hey, hey. His existence hey, is pain. Hey, Chinsicle. Try not to double. <laughs> it's like beard it's like beard. It's like beard stubble. It's like it's like it's like stu it's like stu Let's play Riptide. <laughs> Where we last left off. The three of you. Chip, Jay, and Gilliam. Woke up, or woke up in the middle of the night to find that Ollie had been returned to his childlike form, returning or gaining the years of life that he lost from the compass. And you were also told by Chip that this came to be because of a dream featuring one Niklaus Hendricks. And after some discussion and bringing Ollie down from being in this torn situation of happy to be a kid, but not happy that his adventure with you all would come to an end soon. You found your rest and continued on the next day where you all arrived at the grand whole of the world, capital city, Allport. And just as you were venturing uh, down the, the waterline canal, <laughs> Captain Elizabeth, and her destroyed boat, along with friends like Caspian and Rudith, caught up to you and <laughs> led you to the whole of Allport, the center of the city. The wooden city that shines golden in the sun. As you arrive and you dock underneath the, uh, the, the central towering mass of the city, Chip, you try to reunite Dre with Elizabeth only to be stunned by her angry and frustrated reaction and his lack of memory. Afterwards, Elizabeth asked you all, or Jay and Chip, to come with her and meet a certain special someone who you then found to be Rufus, an old crew member of the Black Rose Pirates now turned a store and shop owner at the Divine Barkinist, along with his wife, Amber, selling all sorts of magical items and knickknacks. And Gilliam, you went along with Caspian, where he led you down to a secret undersea bar known as the Tank. And as you sat down at the bar with Caspian, the bartendress, you looked up and noted and and saw your older sister, Eden, for the first time in a very, very, very long time. And so the journey continues as we currently have uh, our party separated with Chip and Ollie hanging out with Rufus, uh, uh, soon to find what kind of uh, magical bird Apple is. <laughs> Gillian, still with Eden and Caspian, uh, soon to leave the underground pub to meet at meet up at the porthole, 
where Elizabeth is currently leading Jay now to have some sort of chat. I'm going to give myself dialogue options in my brain and choose the worst one every time. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we pick back up with Chip and Ollie inside of the Divine Barkinist. And right where we left off, Rufus had just kind of uh, declared that Apple was this magical bird under some sort of... And Jay realized that the, she was in sort of, under some sort of transmutation. And uh, you guys, for the last 10 or 15 minutes or so, have been just kind of like staring at Apple while Ollie kind of looks around the shop for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Rufus looks at you. You know, I'm not quite sure about this. I think it's a bird. I think you might be right. Mm. Unless... Wait a minute. Um... Poke Apple. Well, let me try one of these. Oh, you poke Apple? Yeah, poke Apple. Okay. Apple is just kind of sitting on the counter right now, looking at you both left and right. And then you poke her, and she just kind of moves to, like, the pitter-pats on the, uh, the bar. Lurch back. <laughs> I lurch back. Yep, bird, bird. Burr. 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 Let me see? try this one. It's a perusion. And he uh, oh, corks open this bottle from behind, under the counter, and it just this is like black of vials. Dude, liquid. I'm worried about my fucking bird right now. <laughs> hey, what does that do? Have your permission. Well, Wait. it's supposed to dispel some sort of magical qualities. I think this is the right one. And he starts to What if to the pour? magic is keeping the bird alive and then the bird dies? He stops. Hmm? That's very intuitive of you. It is? Yeah, it is. And then as you guys are having this conversation, you do hear another ding 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 as uh, uh, the bell from the door opening chimes and in steps. Uh, or as this figure steps in, Rufus goes... Ah, darling, your whole room. Ah, uh, we get a meter. <laughs> <laughs> and inside, uh, you see, uh, or as she steps in, you see this uh, uh, Amber, who is this like tall and, and lissom Kitsune person. And uh, Gillian has met a Kitsune uh, once before back in Laughing Lot. This is the first time you've seen one since. And uh, she has white stripes going down uh, the fur of the forehead and the fur of the back of her head pours past the shoulders like long decorated hair uh, she wears similar to rufus a midnight blue kimono style robe that is held together by black uh, black cord sash with uh, the fabric being very silky with silver trim you also notice <laughs> uh, and also here that she has an alarming amount of bracelets and these kind of like bohemian or, or Greek style strap boots that stop below the knee, as well as uh, the designs in the fur uh, around uh, going down the left thigh. Would you say your name was Amber? Amber. That is also the Amber. color of her fur. Her eyes being this like deep garnet red. I thought you were gonna like list things off. It's also the color of her fur, her eyes, and <laughs> no. her nails. <laughs> Everything about her is Amber. That's where she gets the name. Oh dear, Ru. You didn't tell me we were going to have guests. Oh, I know. I... Now, who are you, boy? Uh, Chip. And what can we do yet for? Apple. And, um, uh... What? Our, our, our bird is magic. I see. I, uh, did sense something as soon as I came into the room, but... I figured you were here to try and pawn off one of your items or treasure and artifacts. We get that a lot with pirates visiting. And, uh... Oh, I like my stuff. I just want to figure out what's... What's up with this bird? This bird, uh... And then she, uh... Wait, wait, wait. wait. Got an idea. <sighs> Blow on the bird and lurch back. <laughs> Her, uh, Apple's feathers kind of flutter a bit. She just got hit by a burst of wind, mm -hmm. and she backs up, and her head shakes violently, and she looks up at you, and her head turns and tilts. <laughs> Nothing. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear boy, put that down. And then she, like, runs over to Ollie, who is, like, holding this this uh, this uh really heavy belt. Uh, it kind of looks like a wrestler's belt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she puts uh, I... it back on the shelf. 
Well, hey, whoa, hang on. What, what was that? What were you looking at? Uh, I don't know. It just really big and caught my attention. This is not for little boys. What is it? Well, you put this on and you get the strength of a mountain giant. Oh. <laughs> Not much. No, nobody's let us stop. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> well, let's talk about the items in the store, okay? After we deal with this bird problem. I really want to talk about this first. <laughs> so dangerous. <laughs> well, let me take a look at the bird right in the back, okay? And Rule, would you help him with the belt? Oh, of course. <laughs> so Rufus walks over to you and he puts on this like little monocle in his eye. And he's also extremely tall and lanky, but uh, weirdly enough, he's not taller than uh, Amber. Or not weirdly enough, but just striking. It's 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 very noticeable. And he, uh, he kind of eyes it down for a second. Well, that'll be about 12,000 gold pieces. Oh, um, no, too many zeros. That's 1,200 gold pieces. Oh, 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 I don't, I don't have that much. Um, it's like, that's 120,000. <laughs> 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 I'm just messing um, with you, boy. How about a deal for an old friend? <laughs> roll oh, a, God. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> I'm scared of what... I Chip am also do. terrified of what he will do with that. 19. 19? Come on, buddy, Rufus, you know me. It's me, Chip. I'm only going to use this for, for good things, right? What if kind anything, of good things? You, well, think about all the adventures I've gone on. I, I, you know, I haven't told you about many of them, but just like the Black Rose, we go around and help everybody. We've helped so many people. We went to uh, the Isle of, of Ire. Now... It was, I mean, it was awesome. We, we went and we helped all those people there. Now it's a thriving place. And then, and then there was an island where a bunch of people were laughing and now they're not. But that's a good thing in that, in this case, because they weren't trying to, the point is we're kind of heroes now. As soon as you finish talking, you hear this loud <laughs> dust cloud puffing sound from uh, behind like the curtain that blocks off the back room uh, from behind the counter. And there's like purple smoke that kind of just leaks out of it. Uh, and then he looks back at you after noticing and he sniffs twice and then he goes Since she's distracted, I may be able to cut you a little deal <laughs> But that'll be uh, our little secret uh, What kind uh, of treasure are you packing as in what's your budget? Okay, I have Now, don't 800. cheat me That's all I have How about this $1,200 Built for around 600 gold pieces. Half, Half off for off. a good friend. I grab him by his ears. <laughs> oh, gentle you. now, gentle now. Okay, okay, yes. Do I just give it to you? Okay, I give it to you. <laughs> I give it to him. <laughs> All right, well, let me just take you back here and ring you up. And he holds oh, like God. The, <laughs> he holds like the the pouch of coins that you brought with you in the belt. He sets it down. It's a heavy. <laughs> it on the uh, on the counter as he sets it down and it's not like a heavy heavy belt but it's heavy enough where it's like it's definitely made out of metal and leather mm -hmm. and uh it has this like swirling engraved pattern in the metal of the base of the belt of this mountain two little mountains charlie i'm scared <laughs> me too i'm also terrified. and uh he just sort of writes on this like little piece of parchment paper the the transaction hands to you almost like a receipt a uh, ye old receipt, and then uh, takes the gold and then puts it somewhere. All right. Well, what else can we do you for while we wait on dear Amber back there to finish her routines? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm good. Uh, are you looking at anything on? Oh, can I put this on now? Can I put it on? No, not right now. Oh. Why? Why because, can't I have? Because you'll be way too strong, and you'll. Blow everything up. You start to see his tears, his eye tears in his eyes well up. I'll let you blow up stuff later, I promise. Or pick stuff up. I don't know how this works. If I wear this belt, does it mean I can stay with you guys? Ollie, we will talk about this later, okay? Okay. We have to figure out the bird situation. Can we see the bird now? And she comes back uh, through and just kind of <laughs> wipes her brow a little bit as she just bursts through with a, with a 
fluttering sound as the the curtains go forward um okay i'm not the best sorceress in the entire city but i think that um even with my certain skill set making this bird go back to normal is a bit far beyond my capabilities whoa whoa whoa, whoa. back back to normal what do you mean back to normal Bird's normal. It's a bird. After you inspection, that out, right, Rufus? I, uh, I, it's very clear this birdie was not once a bird. For how long ago, I would need another night or so. It's a very old kind of transmutation, it seems. One you don't learn from books. I mean, I'd say you could keep the bird, but it's not really my bird. <laughs> I mean, I don't... Julian's not here. He's not going to notice. What about that one guy from... You used to know him from way back. What a good guru. And then she uh, has, hesitates for a bit as he's trying to suggest something. Uh, Rufus. Mm. Uh, I suppose there's a... Uh, another sorcerer, but he's a bit of a recluse and... A little untrustworthy, but he would have the power, possibly, to help you with your bird. Okay, where do I find him? Is he here? Hmm? Unfortunately here. not, dear child, but... His name is Grim, and he... Owns and lives all by his lonesome on an island known as Noxus in the Northern Sea. The Viridis. And he's the only one who could... Uh... Fix the bird? Or not bird? If there is anyone who can do it, it is definitely him. But that's in the North Sea. And in the North Sea, things get a little bit dangerous, so be prepared if you make the journey. Be fine. Right, Ollie? R right! Uh, it's, does that mean I'm gonna come? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Now, I, I, I do... Wanna just I believe you said that you were thinking of teleportation magic? We um that does come with a fee, right, Amber? I but you have the services and the I can depending on where you want to go and if you have the necessary requirements. Well I mean you said we if we went we couldn't go back. Uh I mean I've gotta go with him and that I could arrange it so that you have a way to return to Allport, but I would need a few more days to bring together the certain devices. Um, Getting you there is not as much of a problem and can happen at any point. Can I get back to you on this? Do you have like, is there like a time frame that you need this information back well, on? We or can you just do this whenever? right at sundown because we gotta get back to sleep and re restock the items and okay get, uh, get before sundown room. and it's uh it's uh relaxing restoration uh it's um it's about you guys got here around the end of the afternoon so it is starting to get darker by this point yeah okay not so... quite sunset but yeah, get in there. Yeah, I have like have like a, a yes. maybe like two or three hours. Yes. Okay. Coming back here after traversing to the porthole is a little unlikely, but tomorrow morning, yes, you would get it. Maybe we could come back tomorrow and talk about it then. Just and to let I you could... know, teleportation is an expensive endeavor, and you need, if not an object from the location. Well, if you don't have an object, you might not end up there. There's a lot of things that can go wrong when you don't have a circle in the place you're trying to go to. What does is, what is Ollie's face look like in this? He's just, um... He's, he's being silent, kind of letting the uh, adults talk now, as he doesn't have to participate. But, um... I mean, he, he just looks kind of... S solemn. I would say. Serious. He looks serious. Um, okay. he's there's no like unless you want to roll insight to get a closer evaluation. He just has a straight face right now and he's listening attentively. I'll say that. 
Yeah, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know right now. I don't know. And and if, I mean, I don't have a lot of money left. I'd have to talk to the, to the others. Well, get a... we, it's a, it's just a child. Of course, we could give it no discounts. Unfortunately, we have to make a living here. Right. Yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> um, do you want to hang on to the the bird for tonight? Maybe look at her more. I wouldn't mind spending a little bit more time with um, this little blue bird. She's like holding her on the finger now. Apple. Quite cute. Yeah, she just kind of follows us. I don't actually know where we got her. I wonder why. Destiny has a curious way of weaving certain things. Feel free to come back whenever we are opened and available. If you're our old friend of Rufus's, you're a new friend of mine, and we are happy to help you. Okay, uh, thank you. Say thank you. Well, it was nice to see you again, old friend. Tell Lizzie I said hello and goodbye and come by and buy some more things. You know, I've been having some, uh, well, Amber here has been having some ideas about her chain whip. If she wants to come back and get that situated, but, uh... Just pass it on if you don't mind. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll let her know. I pet him on the head. Thanks. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. See you. <laughs> okay, you guys. so mm -hmm. I wanna I wanna step out. What does it look like outside? Basically, when you sit at, when you step out, there is this big main or or, or or long main street that kind of curves around. A, 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 a another wall that leads up to that like kind of like third level and along the wall and along the other side of the road there's just uh beautiful and intricately designed and well like well structured and uh shops and buildings that seem to be more of like more prestigious or high-end market a more prestigious or high-end market area and it, it's just one row that kind of goes in the circle with little tiny like alleyway type rows that go in between the buildings if necessary and then uh past those buildings like for example the one the building that you're at right now which is the divine bargainist behind it is this sort of like edge of the second level that only goes out onto a wooden um a wooden platform where you can descend uh externally into uh, some of the lower levels of the or the lowest level of the city into the different kind of like sections or ports okay but in front of you right now it's just this kind of like main road that's uh, uh i would just say it's more like uh, it's wooden because everything in the uh city is mostly wooden with kind of like okay a path sort of artificially structured on top of the wood to give it a, li a nicer look so i mean i would probably just walk down the street with ollie just kind of looking around at stuff mm, and it's it, it's it's fairly busy and the people here are dressed uh nicely mm -hmm. and you see more human type humanoids like humans and and, and uh, elves than you do any other kind mm -hmm. of races up here and um uh, uh it's also well lit by like similar to edison kingdom with the uh, metal lamp posts that have some sort of uh, illumination coming from them, but not necessarily candles it looks a lot more prestigious and uh, well thought, or, or, or the effort that's gone into this place is more is more than like the lower levels, or the lowest level. Okay. Yeah. Since it, the city it, is three levels. More. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'd probably just be walking through with Ollie, um, okay. holding this belt that I just bought. Mm, and uh, um, and Lizzie basically just uh, asked that when you were finished to me that. The porthole, although she didn't tell you where it was. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably like wandering pretty aimlessly looking around for that. Okay. Um, if you want to look for it, it's uh, an investigation. If you're going around asking people, but if you're just looking, like eyeballing, it's perception. I'm just eyeballing, really. I'm not asking too much. Um, 14. Okay. Uh, 14... You just by walking around and looking around, you gather that there is no such kind of like tavern or pub up here. It's mostly a marketplace. Uh, with uh, you do walk past, and you walk for a while to the point where when you're walking, it'll start to get towards sunset because it's a very big 
uh, second layer of the city. Mm. And you walk past pretty much where you came from, where you walk past that giant temple that is kind of built up here. <clears throat> but uh, you would probably gather that a pub or a porthole is going to be in one of the lower sections. All right, so I'll, I'll walk down oh, with, with Ollie to the to the lower sections uh, and just, just kind of talk to him along the way. Um, hey, so teleportation, right? You just kind of uh, boop, huh? and then you're there. Yeah, it sounds really cool, but I don't know how it works. Are you, I mean, do, I don't either, but maybe, sounds cool. Do you think guilt, like... What is, is there anyone on your on our in our crew that could teleport? If they can and they haven't told me, I'm gonna be really upset. I want you to go home, but I don't want you to feel like I'm getting rid of you. I know. I want to go home too. I. But I like this home too. And I mean, it's never gonna not be your home, but uh, where we're going is dangerous. And when I was at home, nothing ever happened until you're, until you, Jay, and and Gillian came, and then oh, we were. Oh. I forgot about that. We were, we were starting to struggle. It was, it didn't feel safe to be outside and play things like dice with, the, with other kids, even though a lot of the other kids didn't really hang out with me and they kind of bullied me. But then even though I was really scared, Whenever I was big, I started to feel like I was, I had purpose. Like I, like I was doing something that mattered. I mean, you were, and you, and you are, you know, it's not like, it's not like you don't matter there. I just don't want to be a I hate being a kid. Because I just want to grow up already so I can stay and help. I know how it feels to want to grow up a lot faster than you are, but... I... You should get to be a kid. You should get to go play dice. And... You know, with your with your little friends and... And... Do all that stuff. You should get to... Have that, you know? Before you're... Stuck in this. But you're awesome. I wouldn't know anything that I know right now if it wasn't for you. You're the coolest person I've ever met. And hey, you even you haven't even tried to kill me. You haven't stabbed me or shot me or talked about shooting me. Like everybody else does that. It's like a big win. I don't know how to do that. So maybe that's why. Maybe if you knew how to stab me, you would. I don't think I would. I don't think so. I really don't want to go alone. I don't want to miss out on anything that you guys do. Because being here has made me feel better. Yeah, I mean, it's made me feel better too. Maybe just for a little bit. Okay? Just for, just for like a couple more. And then you go home. Okay? And then that's it. Really? You yeah, think but that would be okay? I do. I think, uh... I think you'll need this, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh, dear God. I can wear the belt, and I can be really strong! <laughs> okay, okay, They'll never okay. expect it! When I come over, I pick them up, I throw them into the abyss! Don't... Oh, do you want the belt or not? I can throw them in the <laughs> sun! <laughs> I can hold him down and Gillian can destiny him. That actually sounds awesome. Yeah, you take that. Even if I'm smaller than Miss J now, I could still pick her up. Okay, but listen, it's not going to be like it was before. You're not, you know, massive. 
Use this to stay safe. Okay. He like tries he like starts to put it on. It doesn't have enough like holes in it for it to like fit his tiny waist. I wanna <laughs> I wanna go in and cut a little uh -huh. hole for him. <laughs> and he puts it on and um He looks funny, but it's it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He looks overjoyed it by it. Does <sighs> it fit alright? I don't feel anything yet. Here, try and pick me up. No, I can't yet. I don't. How's this supposed to work? Uh, Maybe you wait for it. Maybe I it's got. We gotta break it in. Like shoes. Okay. Maybe. Oh, okay. We have to go and meet up with Lizzie. But there's one more thing I wanted to do first. Oh no. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a tattoo? Oh no. <laughs> as soon as you said it, I was like, oh no, he's gonna make Ollie get the tattoo too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Marshall John has me. a lot of them. I'm gonna have more. <laughs> okay, what are you doing with the tattoo thing before we move I on? I wanna go I wanna go get tattoos on my body. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there are no tattoos up here in the uh, second level of the city. So you, I, I will just say for brevity, you ask around for both where the porthole is and where mm -hmm. um, there might be a tattoo area or, or, or parlor, I guess. Tattoo shop. Mm -hmm. And both are actually pretty close together. You can actually get tattoos at the porthole is what uh, you found. Really? Yes. Wow. Sweet. Bar, bar tattoos. <laughs> so you head you. towards what is called the Coral Port. And it is uh, actually pretty close to where... I wouldn't say cl close, but uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good walk. You can walk there pretty easily from where Rufus's shop was. Uh, and you walk to the edge. And you start to head both to the porthole and um, get a tattoo. Uh, I don't know if you're going to get there before Jay or Lizzie. Probably no, we not. No, no, no. We've been... <laughs> but you'll head there and uh, you can say what kind of tattoos you get afterwards. Is that what you want? Yes. Okay. So, switch over. Now to Gillian. Oh! <laughs> you had to... You decided with um, Eden and Caspian that to wait till she uh, gets off uh, of working here at the at the tank. Yeah, to I head towards about, the portal. I think about well. breaking out and just uh, just bashing through the glass, uh, but I decided against it. <laughs> Did you say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Eden giggles and it doesn't comment on it, but Caspian says, "No, that would be excellent." Wait, would that mean I would never get to come here and drink again? Hold on, maybe we should reconsider this plan. Well, uh, since everyone in here is aquatic anyway, just an idea. Well, I don't know how long-term heroic it would be is the only thing. It's not necessarily... Did you assume that they're trapped here, or...? Well, I just I just figured, you know, to get Eden out, it could be like a cool, like, here we go. <laughs> just jump through the... <laughs> explode out of the glass. But she's just working. It's like a, you know, a nine-to-five job. Pays what? the pays the shells, you know. Pays the what? The shells. Oh yes, of course. What did you? A pay nine things? to five. What did you pay things for? God, we missed <laughs> that. You know, you wake up at the sunrise, which is around nine. <laughs> mm -hmm. And do what? You come train? here and come here and train. What do you train? It's uh, no, it's like you know, normal people, not adventurers or fighters, have to make uh, some sort of a living and 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 barter and trade for a living. To get uh, and a currency. The, what's and the what's the five part? That's when they typically think about it like this: sun, dawn to dusk. That's oh my the gosh, that's vibe. that's all day. Yeah. Quite sad life when you think about it, especially if you do something that you don't enjoy. I just don't agree with it. Maybe I will break through that glass. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I have no reason to stop you, but... We can just keep bantering for the next, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. 
<laughs> a little bit until she's off. Eventually, um, discussing the the plan takes too long. <laughs> <laughs> the plan to bust her out of her job, yeah. She kind of swings around the bar after she is uh, off and, and tags in. With I'm going to do it! Here I go! <laughs> and she <laughs> puts her hand on your shoulder. Okay. Are you ready? Oh, you're, oh damn. All right. <laughs> I, I put the bar stool away because I still don't have a weapon. <laughs> I was just going to use to smash through this. You hear that, that, that lanky or not that extendo octopus tent squid oh. woman, madam, yell out, whatever you're thinking of doing, don't. What benefits does your, does your uh, employership provide? Dental. Oh, it's pretty good. I have teeth, right? Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, to think about that. <laughs> I took Only me a one. second. I look around to see if most of her employees have teeth or not. Yes. I see like a clam lady. Clam she runs. Over. She runs a lot of it. There's only uh, like a pretty much like a morning shift for pouring like bartender. Yeah. Uh, and then she even just tagged out with the night cool. night shift, right. and then there's you know someone who who cooks. So, Eden, where to first? I, I could take you to, to meet my friends, or if there's anywhere you know or, or want to go. Uh, I would love to meet your friends, but I think Caspian said some sort of pub to meet everyone. Oh, I, I yes. can't stay there for long, but I, I would like to. Then, uh, then let's let's do that. And you guys, uh, Caspian goes, well, all right. Oh, lead the way. You exit the tank. Yes. Uh, going Without through that. Uh, anything. Yeah, going through that metal door that uh, uh, leads you out of this kind of like it's like an inverse vortex. The way it's sort of constantly pushing water out, and as soon as you. What's the name of that little creature at the door? Did I get it? I don't think you did get it. Excuse me, creature. What is your name? Meh. All right, meh. <laughs> I hope we meet again soon one day. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Gillian! <laughs> I leave! Bye-bye! <laughs> That's what he says. Bye-bye! Uh, and you guys kind of get sucked into the waters uh, with the, the, the like the pool of the of the current that like happens whenever you exit and enter. Guys, and, I love that thing. <laughs> right as you say that, uh, almost immediately as you step out and the door kind of closes behind you, you you feel Eden's arms just thrown around your neck and you can just hear as Caspian sort of stops gently and looks behind you hear her start to cry a little gently and she says I'm so glad that you're alive and when Caspian said your name over the shell I couldn't I couldn't believe what I was hearing I never lost hope that you were okay, and I'm so, so sorry for not being able to see you or visit no, you when I, you were stuck. It's, it's, it's my fault. I'm, I didn't mean to scare you or, or, or make you think that anything had happened. I've been trying to find my way back, but I, I don't know who, anyone, what anything is. It's just so good to see you someone from home especially you especially you there's <laughs> there's a lot that i am eager to tell you about and, and, and um but and uh she kind of pulls out this like sort of like garb from a, like a satchel that's kind of thrown around hers and she's also now wearing more of like a a uh, cloak, kind of like hooded yeah. cloak, and she hands you the same one. It's like teal in color. <clears throat> um, what is what is this? And it flows in the water. It's it, it, of course because you guys are in the sea, but uh, just well, whenever we are up in this city, usually, uh, especially in the second and third level, the third level is off limits for uh, mostly anyone. But the second level, make sure you're covering your face covering my uh, Eden I know it's 
been a while, but I'm Gillian Tidestrider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep, and now also the one singer-songwriter of Hole in Your Heart, beater of ass, eater of grass, Eden. I I <laughs> it's my brand. I can't cover my, my, my face up there. Why? She doesn't have to wipe away tears as they just kind of like flow past her eyes, but she smiles. I have seen your wanted poster. <laughs> <laughs> but Excellent. here let's say the city is under different management and those titles will only get you in trouble <laughs> are you are you are you safe here is everything okay we should be fine as long as we kind of keep to ourselves i'm safe i've been safe good and I'm this in danger all the time, but I don't fucking <laughs> oh, care. Oh, Caspian. Oh, Caspian. <laughs> You're in danger of being too cool. <laughs> right back at you, my friend. Oh. Yeah, after that exchange, I mean, you start to swim through the underground tunnel. Or not. Yeah, the tunnel that is kind of um, underneath the hole. And mostly just underneath the city in general. Yeah. But still connected to it. Uh, and you're... Heading down that way now to... So, before I throw you in the deep end with everyone, what what has happened? How did you how did you even get here? <laughs> Not that I'm... <laughs> I'm so glad you are, but... <laughs> I, um... What a story. Well, I mean, the short of it is... is I figured that something was awry when they stopped letting me see you. Oh, they didn't... They didn't say. They... For whatever reason, wouldn't. To me, either. Oh. And, uh... I saw I, after a, a few months, I, I left city to look for information and talk with a lot of the citizens outside of the capital. People like Caspian who are sheltered or secure inside of our walls. And somewhere along the way, I got in danger, in trouble, in a lot of it. And I was in a really bad point where I thought I was going to die. But. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, it's, you know, how it is in the undersea. Things are dangerous with the creatures that can roam outside of the cities and, and, and civilizations. Yes, we met um, my boy Dugan a couple weeks back. He's chill. We're good now. You met a leviathan? Oh, yes, yes. Dugan, he wanted... <laughs> um. The, uh, the, the Luxbris Pearl. Good guy. Stand-up guy. So he's hanging on to it right now for us. Well, I... I actually... <laughs> what I want to tell everyone about is kind of... Kind of about Leviathans, but I, I want to wait until we're there. Oh. Um... Okay. I'm, I'm glad you, you made it out all right. Did... I was did saved. Did Caspian save you, or...? No. It was, um, it was a really kind gentleman who just happened to be passing by. I, I haven't seen him or, or spoken to him since. He saved me from the beasts and he kind of heard my story and my suspicions. Because he had the same sort of thought, 
Nicholas. I think his name was Nicholas. And he... Oh. You didn't... You didn't, you didn't make any sort of, um... No. Deal, right? She didn't say no before you. I, I knew what you were going to say is the DM. She actually says no after. Okay, yeah. No. Good. Good, I, good, good. Nothing. No, it was, um... Just a stranger. Hey, um, just... If you ever see him again, um... Everywhere we've been, there's been traces of something dark that this man leaves behind. And while I am strangely grateful he saved you, please, if you ever see him again, just run in the other direction. Swim away. Where he goes, no good things follow. Are you sure we're talking about the same person? Part of me hopes not. Well, Plus, this... next time you get in trouble, I'll just slice it in half. <laughs> you won't have to worry. It's, it's been a little while since then. I... I'm not a fighter, but I think I will be okay and safe. Shouldn't arrive, uh, find myself in danger like that again. But this this man was, was gentle. I can't imagine anything sinister coming from him, and he did save me, so... While I will take what you say to heart, I do feel very grateful to him. He has helped a lot. Without asking anything in return. We must be rare. talking about different different people, and I apologize. <laughs> Never mind. I am grateful to whoever this, this Nicholas is that we can be here together now. If he ever shows himself, I will surely point him out to you, and we can both thank him. But until then, um, after that, I I came to the Oversea. I came to Allport. I wanted to know. I wanted to know what things weren't. I just wanted to know more. more. I still have a lot of questions about everything up there, and I, has it been as stinky for you as it has for me? I don't know if it's like an above water thing, but everyone's just so smelly this... all the time. The first thing I noted was most of the uh, non-fish folk smell very rancid. Listen, you're gonna see this guy. Brown hair. Earring, all right. <laughs> just, just get ready for the musk, all right. That's all I'm saying. A, a serious odor, serious. Not even an evil one. Just pungent. Yes. Okay. She's gonna love the musk. J listen, Jay, other friend. She's great. She had a stinky arc, but she's been <laughs> been doing really well lately. I'm thrilled to meet the people that have kept you safe. I can't wait for you to you see them. <laughs> Just don't smell them too much. Watch me breach, and I uh, I dolphin dive <laughs> out of the fucking the ocean. Okay, I uh, will. We can just keep swimming over to the porthole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So basically, as uh, Gillian, Caspian, and Eden all make their way towards the porthole, as soon as you erupt out of the waters, Gillian, and you land uh, on the the docks that that cover the perimeter of this central uh, hub, uh, the, basically what it's called is the hole uh, of, of Allport underneath the layers. Uh, as soon as you land on that deck, Caspian just sort of like flicks his brow and as he does, all of the water on you and Eden, uh, besides your skin and when it's moist, the clothes and stuff just kind of dry ah! instantly. My uh, moisture! <laughs> my wetness! My you're, sacred you're gone, gone wetness! You're, you're still very wet, man. I'm, I'm like getting back in. <laughs> and then getting out again. Well, to each their own. Just Whoa. don't want to be too dripping, you know? Da oh, I do. Dangerous <laughs> magics you wield. To remove my drip like that. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling you Gillian Tidestrider Drip Lord. Tread lightly, Caspian, and I will tread wetly. <laughs> so you guys make your way. Jay 
and you are following Captain Lizzie as you are traversing. Do you have any like questions? Also, really, I mean, I am adding that to the titles. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> go for it, dude. Drift Lloyd. Do you have any uh, questions along the way? Uh, me. me? Or... Yep. So we're kind of we're kind of rewinding time just a little bit. Uh, right as you, she asks you to take a walk with her, and you're like, I want to see this bird, and she says, It's not a short, short fucking walk, okay? And you're like, mm -hmm. Fine, yes, 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 and you follow her out. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, no, I'll just follow silently for now, uh, okay. and see what she has to say when whenever we get where we're going. Okay, so yeah, I mean, as you're walking, she kind of shouts out little bits of, like, information as if she's this really bad, mm -hmm. bad tour guide, but she's not even walking <laughs> shoulder to shoulder. She's just walking in front of you and, like, shouting. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm, like, I'm, like, she's I kind of have, really like, a, a little a little swagger in my step here as I kind of look yeah. around at the, at the city, you know, arms up behind mm -hmm. head, <laughs> looking around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she's very poor at socializing. But anyways, <laughs> Lizzie had led all of you or you and Ship to the northern part of what she, what you learned to be called the Golden Circa Market, which is what she kind of yells out to you as you kind of leave <laughs> the door, <laughs> um, which is the second level, or it's called that because the second, it's the second level and it's in the layout of a circle and it's also during the day very golden. Uh, the wood is very golden. Okay. Uh, you walk just around the corner, a little southwest, to the edge of this level onto a wooden platform like I described earlier and you take a wooden ladder down to one of the highest roads that climb up the walls of the Golden Circa Market. This uh, port suburb or, or section of the city is illuminated by hanging chain torches on the sides of curving streets and paths made of wooden planks and the roofs of buildings. Um, and it uh, seems to be this uh, looking just kind of down into the city from above. You can see that this seems to be kind of a place for woodworking and mostly for ships. It's like a shipyard um, and uh, other kind of like construction occupations and, and that sort of vibe. And you follow Lizzie, hugging the wall uh, of the second level, uh, not descending in too much into the bulk of the town. And before arriving at a large ship built into the wall, repurposed into this multi-level tavern with small buildings constructed up the mizzenmast and the foremast and kind of connected by the large central structure in the middle and the environment around you is a warm a little grimy but enthusiasm leaks from inside the pub you follow lizzie uh, up the steps as she kind of yells out keep up sunshine and the the <laughs> steps to the front entrance I kinda... Yeah, I increase my pace a little bit. I start like kind of a little mm -hmm. brisk jog to catch yeah, up. Yeah. And uh, this, so the steps to the front en entrance would normally be up to the main deck, uh, but it, it leads up to the entrance, the door, and it is currently blocked by a muscular minotaur who is just kind of wearing no shirt except for some chains that go around the shoulders. Uh, and he's got this big fucking belt on with like leather uh, capris that <laughs> like the <laughs> pants that like go up to the knee. And he's just kind of sitting there, like, leaned back, puts his arm out that's really long, covers the whole door. <clears throat> Let me just pitch my motherfucking voice down for this, because it's a minotaur. <laughs> <clears throat> code. Give me the code. Lizzie looks at him and squints with a scowl. And then she looks back at you. All right. Do you know anything of the pirate code? Uh, the pirate code? Yeah, just like one bullet point. Um, one little section. So Chip once told me that rule number one is never piss your pants. <laughs> <laughs> she like puts her <laughs> head, her head in her hands. Oh, no, fuck. man, we, he never told us the rest of it actually. So, the three of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Went out on this pirate fucking adventure, and you don't know a single thing about being a pirate. Yeah, actually, we're, we're pretty bad at it, I'd say. <sighs> at least based on what I hear about pirates. Well, I'll teach you one thing. If you don't consent, you die. If you don't In relationships, consent, you die. friendship, or otherwise. In Let's go, consent, bro, hell yeah. This down. <laughs> and uh, the Minotaur man goes, it was a fucking tree trunk of a man. He chuckles, he's <laughs> you picked that one today? <laughs> and then he winks at her and he kind of like moves, moves his uh, arm. 
Have fun, you two. And she's like, shut up. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> uh, I walk inside and I kind of whispered her. How it's like, hurry. How and Chip or Gillian going to get in? They don't know any of them. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she she looks at him. Oh yeah, she's with me. And uh, you guys walk through the this uh, uh, central mass. Yeah, this uh, center building. And inside, it is literally built into a giant pirate ship. You have a circular bar that is kind of a set uh, on the back side of the wall with booths that go in like a row, as if they were like supposed to be like barrels. And there's still the the, the masts and, and pillars that hold up the other the upper levels um and you can see there's actually a ceiling that's kind of like built over just a little bit and uh, for the second like layers like second levels and stuff and there's also still that hatch that's open that leads into like a lower level it's just a tavern built inside of the ship with different levels and it is very warm there's tons and tons of people in here it makes the uh <laughs> it makes the environment very excitable uh and and filled with with uh with laughter and shouting a mixture of smells that that is is kind of foul <laughs> <laughs> um but there's also i mean there's there's uh there's big circular round tables that seem to be kind of built for the sake of having crews come in here uh no matter how large and and just have you know r and r mm -hmm. and uh there's there's two or three uh there seems to be two bartenders behind the bar right now and uh, you follow Lizzie all the way up into that bar, and she sits down, and just kind of like uses her knuckle to tap the the seat next to her, uh, and uh, shouts out to the bartender asking for a, a few rounds. And uh, as you sit down, if you want, if you want to sit down, yeah, I'll, I'll like <laughs> hesitantly take a seat. <laughs> Four different tankards slide over, and she slides one of them to you. <laughs> <laughs> the other three for her. <laughs> you, you're gonna drink all of those yourself? I want to have a conversation, but I think I gotta be a little drunk to do it. Okay. Uh, Jay drinks a drink. Uh, just a <laughs> quick swig of, of her ale. All right. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and roll a con save. Oh wow. <laughs> we haven't saved very much in this. Uh... Oh man, it rolled from a 19 to a three. I'm six. Oh, <laughs> that's a six. Okay, yeah, I keep forgetting the can't see me right now. I keep reacting to shit. You're tipsy now, okay? So, <laughs> so maybe, uh, maybe a little. Wait, you rolled a six? Okay, yeah. you're, you're gonna be rolling at a disadvantage if you roll anything. <laughs> you're okay. a little drunk, not for very long, but you're a little drunk. Oh, this stuff, this stuff's strong. She also oh. fails the con save, just so you know. So she kind of, <laughs> as soon as that, she like, she throws a whole thing back, slams it onto the the bar, and goes ah. And uh, her her cheeks kind of get a little flustered, and they're more rosy than normal, and it complements her, her, her darker skin or olive skin. And she um she kind of looks down at the uh, the empty tankard and, and sits it aside, and she's just looking down. She hasn't looked at you yet. Is there anything you want to lead in with? No, it's very. I just want the awkwardness to hang in the air. Honestly, it does <laughs> for a good while. <laughs> And as the awkwardness hangs in the air, she takes another fucking like. Jay, Jay kind of like pop, she pops up like she's about to say something. She starts drinking. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> so she throws in she does another tankard back uh, during the awkwardness. Uh, this time she rolls a natural twenty, so puts that aside. Has the third one in front of her. Anything you want to lead in with? <laughs> <laughs> Jay just sort of like finger drums a little bit. So, <laughs> we we just come here to drink? Or what's the deal? And she takes another small little little sippy of her of hers. <laughs> just like a tiny amount. She's a little scared about how fast she got drunk. <laughs> she, she pulls out a little sippy straw. Just... <laughs> she kind of eyes the cup and she goes it's ale it's not a fucking sippy cup you're gonna drink it's, it or what i just don't want to get too drunk i mean you know <laughs> she's like <sighs> listen last time i did a cake stand i blew up my ship at least had a pardon it true 
It's mostly Gillian, actually. Fuck! I'm sorry, you guys did, uh, you blew up your ship? Yeah, yeah, uh, our first, our first, uh, what did we call that one? I don't know, Chip named it after himself. Uh, <laughs> and, and these little, these little fire, these sea lemurs? Yeah, sea lemurs, they, they came up and, uh, we brought some, so we stole gunpowder, right, from, from the Navy base on Zero, and we brought it onto our little ship, and then the sea lemurs set it on fire and blew us all up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, he is. She takes a... She throws this one back again. She fails. She's drunk. For sure. Um, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and as she sets that one down, you can tell that your story of Zero and blowing up your shit has kind of, like, eased the tension in the room. And all behind you, there's, there's a bunch of chatter and, and laughter and, and things going on, which kind of masks the conversation a little bit and keeps it just between you two. Um, <laughs> but eh, after that, she just... I just fucking I want to know why your dad sawed my boat in half and <laughs> I want to know how the fuck you got out of that prison and I want to know who the fuck you want to be because I really thought you were going to betray them in there so I'm just kind of fucking curious that's all Oh, I look at her for a second, and I look at my drink, and I pull out the sippy straw and down it. <laughs> Alright, roll a con save. Disadvantage, right? Oh, it's bad, it's bad. Oh, Jesus Oh, Christ. it's even worse, it's even oh, worse. Oh, God. What is it, what is it? It's a natural one. Oh, oh no. my God, dude, you're fucking plastered. <laughs> yeah, dude, your lips are so oh. loose. Oh, okay, hammered, this man. is... <laughs> I'm sorry, I need you're to feeling good, my, though. my drink for that one. Oh, that hit quick! <laughs> oh, holy sh! That's pow That's powerful stuff. Okay, so what? What was it? Um, why did my just, dad saw your dad your saw my fucking boat in half, man? And I want to know about it. And and I uh is <laughs> my dad. Just <laughs> a crime. My dad has a way of of breaking things all the time. <laughs> <laughs> when I was oh God. when I was five, I had this toy. I, I called I called her Samantha. It was a little dolly, um, <laughs> and, and she was God. my best friend. Oh God, she was my best friend. And you know what he did? <laughs> he, said, he said I was focusing too much on on playing with the toy, and he and he and he shot it. He shot it with his gun. Oh God. I'm Holy sorry, I didn't mean to trauma dump point to you. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, man. I, I didn't want to know your whole life story. But yeah, he sounds like a fucking dick. I... He's alright. <sighs> He's alright? You know, he he always go? loved me at least, kind of. <laughs> I mean, you were wondering... You were wondering how we got out of the prison. I just... Oh. Yeah, I... Look, you don't, don't 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 ever repeat these words. But I fucking I, I, no, I, I, uh, I care about Chip, and <laughs> yeah, you'll never you'll never know. And There's, I just I mean, uh, I, on the down low, I do too. But like, I'll never tell him that. I tried to warn I tried to warn him that you might be a fucking like. That's a funny spy, thing. and then he he, like, he was gonna die if he stayed with you. He's like, no, like, great. when I started hanging out with him, I, I was a spy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Jay's like laughing a little bit, like really drunk, and then Lizzie's yeah, like fucked up. <laughs> Lizzie like goes serious for a second. Hey, hey you, you like content? Want a little little more bang for your buck here today? On just roll with it. Well, let me tell you what, for the small price of $5 a month, $5 just right now, even just $5 once, you can get access to my new, my new campaign, actually, that I'm running starting next Wednesday on Patreon for, for a few weeks or months, like three months, two months. I don't know how long it's going to go for, but, but PD is going on hiatus for it, uh, because Bisley needs a break. So here we go. Uh, I, I'm trying to run my own campaign for the first time ever if you want to see what that's gonna be like It's hopefully gonna be wild. I have so many fucking insane ideas 
and I'm really excited to show them off and 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 just like run this campaign um because I think it's gonna be crazy and all the characters are really cool we've got we've got like a guy who wants to be a god we've got we got we got a guy who wants to kill God and we got a uh, Peter Schloint Peter, Peter Schloint 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 we got Peter we got Peter <laughs> so basically it's gonna be awesome okay and you should totally check it out because I've been putting a ton of work into it and I'm really excited to, for people to see it and, and, and to hear thoughts on it so you know yeah okay bye I love you guys <laughs> what's, what's wrong so he's fucking right you can't be trusted no, no, it's okay. I've made my choice and I've cut my ties with my family. <laughs> and everything is great now. And me and Chip and Gillian are the best of friends and... and oh God, I love those guys. <laughs> okay, but did you report on any fucking thing that happened between us? Because... Oh, see, you know, it's I'm really trying funny. To, I'm trying to start a war. <laughs> and you yeah, so kind of know that. Really funny, uh, when we were on Joalda, I was- I was writing a letter, uh, about it, and then we got blown the fuck up by the Navy, so they never got the letter. Why are you laughing? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry, I get really giggly when I'm drunk. <laughs> she kind of, like, shakes her head and shrugs it off. Well, I believe you, if you're still here and alive, that's, uh, that's good. That means that, uh, if you're- Chip's friend, and you trust you trust Chip, and, and Chip trusts you. Then I have to. I wanna. I wanna trust you and uh, everyone that's around him. Yeah, well, on the real, maybe don't trust Chip too much. On the on the down though, if you hear the word sparrow said and he's around, you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what word? <laughs> uh, I forgot. Uh, Chip said. Uh, Chips, uh, chips are walking. The chips are walking stuffed baby deer on the <laughs> seas. He's, he's nothing to worry about. It's, he's like a little fishy with no legs. He's always been like a little guppy little brother. And uh, back when we were kids, he, he just, he just, <laughs> all he ever wanted to do was be just like Arlen and. Uh, <laughs> it was nice to see that some people don't change. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he always he always talks about Arlen. I'd love to meet him someday. I mean, assuming all is well with him. If that if that bastard Dre is still alive, then I guess there there's a chance they're all still alive. I guess so. I mean, except for him. Whoever was lost. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, for the conversation to come to hard topic. Uh, you know, that's why you drink is so you can open up with yeah. other people when you don't know how to do that, right? So yeah, fuck it. What do you want to know about, mommy? We can, we can. We're the, the women. We're the women. <laughs> we're, we're the, the women. women. We're the women. We fucking. Boss. Or the bad oh, girl yeah. boss. <laughs> <laughs> this this entire scene is awesome. <laughs> Just both of this us. this fucking, really fucking world is gonna be ruled and the women are gonna be in the, the ruling yeah. seats. You know what? I'm gonna say it now. You asked what I want to do and stuff. I wanna be like the best pirate ever. That's, yeah. That's a little out there. I mean, there's a um, lot of fucking. There's a lot of. There's a lot of layers of being the best. You think yeah, about it. Yeah, I. I just came up with that. <laughs> Actually, I. I wanna. I wanna fucking. I'm. I'm gonna. It's, every time someone looks at me and says, "You're weak, girl." I grab them by their hairy fucking testicles and make them s scream until they. I'm gonna do that to the navy essentially, and then, and after uh. I do that to the navy, I'm I'm gonna make sure that the the balance is restored to the the world, and then finally I'll have I'll have getting. You know that's I'll, I'll fucking, crazy. I'll get, actually, because I was just thinking the navy is like. 
a little fucked up, mate. I'm just a little fucked up lately. Every, even, you know, according to Caspian, every place that has fucking power is a little fucked up these days. But if we yeah, just I... take the power away and give it to everybody, then everyone's going to have the same amount of fucked upness. And no, that'll gonna... be good. If we're gonna get political, I'm gonna need another drink. Can I <laughs> knock on the table and get another drink? Yeah, this, uh, this, this, <laughs> this regular humanoid just kind of like slides it over. Our humans are. Thank you. Sli it slides it. it over and you, uh, yeah, you chug it. Well, can't save. <laughs> With this advantage, he's gonna be dead when we get there. Hey, that's a six. <laughs> All right, yeah, you, you fail. <laughs> um, Bell, one more time, you're gonna pass out. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, oh! I would say right now you have a point of exhaustion from being that. So, uh, she follows suit. She rolls. So I was thinking eight, maybe. And she's also yeah. Yeah, she drinks. At this point, Did you guys are, like have pass? arms like around each other's shoulders. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and you're like you know, talking and like slamming the table passionately. Yeah, what's up? Lizzie, I have, I have, you know, you pointed it, you pointed the gun at me. That's, I, I didn't, I didn't like you that much. For you. I love you. Yeah, you know, I didn't really like you that much either. But I thought, I, you know, I've seen, a, I thought you were someone else, and I, you know, because you I mean, yeah, I thought you were just someone else. It's no yeah. worries, like. I know how it is, you know, you can't judge a book by its cover, right? Especially when the cover is, like, all blue and navy-like. <laughs> you just, yeah, <laughs> see, you just look so much like your sister, so I thought, it was like, no yeah, way. Do do my sister. <laughs> uh, but I wasn't actually gonna You've shoot met my you sister? or anything, I just, uh... How do you know what my sister looks like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say uh, your sister? Yeah, you did. You said my sister. I didn't even know you had a sister. Uh, Freudian <laughs> slip, I'm sure. <laughs> um, passes. So I was thinking, right? Oh, I was thinking. I, I have so many connections in the navy that maybe I just go beat them up, right, and make <laughs> them change from like the inside I like reform them from the inside so they stop doing this <laughs> you, you want to do that Crazy now shit. you can't do that now because if you, you you're already a pirate now you've gone too deep you're wanted <sighs> the navy would never let you in yeah but if i beat them up hard enough that's the fucking way sister <laughs> we're gonna beat the yeah. shit out of them and yeah, they're was... gonna <gasps> and at this point Unless, is there anything else that you wanted to ask? <laughs> no, I think, I, I don't know if I have any questions about Lizzie. Okay. Um. Any questions come to mind in drunk Jay Farron's mind? Let's, so like, what, what are you going to do now that you have John back? John is the strongest, craziest <laughs> animal of a human to that have That dude is so fucking big. He's... Oh my god! I'm a big guy for sure, certainly, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're gonna fuck with him. He knows a lot of fucking things about the navy, so we're gonna follow some of his instruction in the North Sea and find some fucking some shit out. Build our, build our army. Try and mm. uh, try and weaken the navy, and then. Uh, once we've got the plan, uh, with the help of Marshal John and his all his, you know, expertise, we'll come toppling down this headquarters up there, and then Raph will sink. And she kind of like flicks her. Yeah, cup. you take him from the outside, and I'll. And her cup falls over. And <laughs> I, some I, stuff I like, I like shadow box the air, and, I, and I'll <laughs> from the inside. <laughs> We've actually got, uh, don't tell anyone, but we've actually have some, some fucking, uh, some, uh, double, some insiders, uh, right now. Some little bit of a double, you know, double thing going on. Some Whoa. cheaters in the, it's my, uh, so it's like, my, uh, it's my most, you know. So, like, you have, you have what I was, but in the Navy? But as a pirate and in the Navy. That's crazy. And I can't say more because Caspian would kill me 
he would. He would totally kill you. Caspian <laughs> is that type of guy. <laughs> if he wasn't here for all this time, I wouldn't have made it. You know. <laughs> you have a good crew. And you have chip. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I kind of like <laughs> arm around her and get real close again. <laughs> oh, and now it's a perfect time for him to come. And at back, this yes. point, Chip walks in with <laughs> with Ollie. Chip, you get the same uh, description that I said before. It's this massive pirate ship with the tavern basically built in it and up it, multi-level stories, and um, it's very very cool. Lots of pirates in here. You are you are. Taken aback by, by by the amount of just enthusiasm, or not enthusiasm, sorry, but just the electricity coming from this place. It is the vibe where you feel at home at. Oh my god, hey, wait a minute, just chip. Okay. Hey, I mean, chip, you guys, let's go you get guys a tattoo. See. Maybe you can get you're, a tattoo. You're chip. facing away from the door, Jay, so you definitely wouldn't be able to see. Oh, okay. Damn, I was gonna, I was gonna start with something stupid. All right. What kind of tattoo would you get? Uh, I never had a tattoo before. I, I want to get. Oh, can I get the albatross flag on my ankle? I want it too. What if I get it on my? I can wait. What if we get it really big and like on on our faces? Chip, and like our faces. No. Chip, dude. Chip, we can prank them, and I can get that tattoo that Gillian has. <gasps> yes. That'll be the prank. No, that's we, problem. We haven't that's pranked them so long though. We drew titties on the the flag, and that was it. We will prank somebody today. You have my word. Can we just give like? Can we just get like act like get one of the drunk guys to get a tattoo and then tell Gillian that that guy has the tattoo and then Gillian will go all destiny mode and then the <laughs> chaos will erupt as he tries um, to I'm kind of in a weird spot with pranking Gil right now. He kind of doesn't like it when I do that. But what if we prank Jay? Jay and he like looks over a little bit. Yeah, I mean, she's like oh, she's dude. such a hard ass all the time. She, you know, she might benefit from a little Miss Jay's right over Jay? there. Oh, okay. Let's go catch up. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, all right. Like, she's very close now. The stools are kind of pushed together with Lizzie as they're just kind of like falling all over each other and very drunk. What's she doing? Very drunk what as you're walking happening? up. Uh, hey, uh, Chip, that Jay. fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God, Chip. I, I grab his face. Hey, you're, you're, you're real. <laughs> you're drunk. <laughs> hey, chip, little chip, man. Chip, Chip, Chip. <laughs> you enjoyed speaking oh, with the Chip. Rufus? Barrel. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. Just I'm pointing little, at a barrel. It sounds like little... I'm saying a keyword, but it's completely wrong. I look, I look <laughs> over at Ollie and I like look back at Jay, back at Ollie, back at Jay. Just... Hey, so Ollie and I were gonna go do something really fun, and I think you should join. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Um. Oh, my just, inhibitions. Just, <laughs> They're all gone. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know, we get in touch with our uh, artistic side. Right, Ollie? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to get... We're going to do a little bit of art, aren't we? What yeah. kind of art? Pretty inked. Really good art. Jay, listen, yeah. I think you would look so sick. Right. <laughs> Rad, even. Uh, what, what's, um, what going on here, though? Oh, we were just having a little, a heart to heart. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Well, heart to heart. I lean over and look at Lizzie. Yeah. Just opening our feelings for each other, letting everybody know our heart's true intentions. <laughs> Sharing love for our fellow pirates. Keep Are looking we? at me like that when I'm drunk, Chip, and I might just kill you. Oh, you're going to kill me, but which one? How many of there are the balls and make you scream? <laughs> <laughs> Chip, if you don't want to be ripped apart by your fucking ass cheeks, I suggest you don't keep talking down on me. And she starts to okay, stand up. Okay, Lizzie, listen. <laughs> I think we've had enough to drink. And I like you. I like you a lot. Just not in that way. She starts way. to take off her, her, her coat. She's like, come on, come meet me in the pit. No, we can, we can no, duel no. it out. We can see who's the strongest pirate from the old Black Rose crew, huh? Um, and you actually see when she takes off her coat and she kind of rolls up the sleeve, she also has this, like, uh, very beautiful pink wave tattoo that 
kind of wraps up the arm and on the other one is just uh kind of an amalgamation of like birds and other things that kind of fly up the other arm uh, those look pretty cool i didn't get them here you can be sure of that so come on the pit or what you want to you want to no. you want to fight in the pit do it chip fight fighter it'll be funny <laughs> <laughs> no weapons there's no weapons allowed you want to fight right now yeah come on ollie is he a is he a bitch ollie is he a, is he just a bitch for not fucking and okay ollie... okay okay fine <laughs> let's fight then and then ollie's like okay are you tattoos after is that like the plan still yes, like... tattoos after okay bring miss J over she starts first Okay, and as you guys, as she starts to lead you down to where the pit's supposed to be, you guys get to this, like, hatch. It's, like, big porthole, which is kind of why the tavern has its name. And, um, in the floor, and as that happens, Gillian, you would <laughs> arrive <laughs> and see, um, just behind Chip and Gillian, or Chip and... Oh, you would arrive. Do we have to go through the pirate code person to get in? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Chip went up and said, "Don't pee your pants." And it hey, Eden, check this out. Chip, go ahead and uh, just roll persuasion check for me real quick. My bad, I forgot. Okay. But Gillian, you'll have to try. I got a twenty-five. Ooh. Yeah, you. Even if you don't know the power code, you fucking you're best friends with the guy up front, like the Minotaur, and you you got you hit it off so buddy. fucking well. You just walk right in with him. He was My yeah, pal. yeah, like he like you guys are fucking tight now. Anyways, Gillian, you walk up to the door at this point. <laughs> Uh, I just start walking past him. Hey! Hey! Can't go in without, uh, telling me the code. The, the code? What, uh... That's what, right, the code! What kind of code are you looking for? He, like, squints at you. I guess when starts to step forward, you just kinda, you know... Oh, 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 say some, oh, send, oh, say some oh, of the oh, yeah, code. Uh, yeah, yeah, I put, I put an arm out. <clears throat> Eden, check this out. Um, I look down at my, at my pants. I look down at the Minotaur's pants. <laughs> I noticed you haven't pissed. Good. <laughs> Pirate code rule number one. Never piss your pants. I take Caspian and Eden's hands and begin to walk past him. <laughs> <laughs> His arm's still blocking the door. He just kind of raises it up. And what? if you piss your pants, you'll be sorry. It's true. Damn it's right. True. It's true. It's Damn true. right. <laughs> I Listen, I am 100%. I am 99% wet. This is the honest truth. There's 1% that never will be. The fear you're in, it attracts the most dangerous sea monsters in the entire sea. Piss your pants! <laughs> and it'll and be you'll instantly your end. die. Yep, yep. Every pirate knows that. Get in there and have a good time at the portal. <laughs> All right, don't go pissing while I'm gone. Don't go pissing my art. My favorite tune by that one bard. <laughs> Fuck, what's his name again? <laughs> All right, you, you walk in. Cool, that works. <laughs> All right, hey, um, you're right over there. You know, and you next... walk in, and right in front of you, they're kind of like walking down this like metal porthole to get to like the bottom level. <laughs> you see all of them like okay, pretty much immediately. Oh, sweet. except Jay hey, is right swag. there. That's uh, that's Lizzie. That's Jay. That's Chip. Hey, oh, hey, my... Jay, oh, hey. Chip. This is my sister, Eden. That's Chip. Oh, it's my Chip. sister. Whoa. Oh my She's god, here. you're so cute. I she, hug her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks up at Caspian and, and he says, and he kind of whispers, this is all right. This place is, this place is full of pirates. You're safe. And uh, she like lets her hood down and you guys also see uh, Eden, who is charming and, and, and very beautiful. She's the short hair pinned again by the starfish. Um, and she's kind of wearing this like uh, teal cloak over uh, the outfit that I described. Uh, last um, session. <clears throat> yeah, no, Jay approaches and is like, Oh my gosh, she's so cute when I hug her. And I look at Gillian and I'm like, Gillian, <laughs> why didn't you tell me you had such a cute sister? And I boop her on the nose. Because I didn't know if I'd <clears throat> ever see her again. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> hey, Lizzie, can you beat the shit out of me later? I have some, uh, 
business to attend to. And she oh, grabs what? you by your collar and she says, not right now, pretty boy. We have a oh, score fucking... to settle. Okay. Okay. Lizzie's gonna beat All right. I'll be back. Gil, I just gotta fight for my honor. I guess. Uh, oh my goodness! <laughs> I rush to the sidelines. <laughs> All right, so Eden Caspian, I'm assuming Jay as well. Uh, whenever you hug her, yeah. uh, Jay, she is like frozen stiff solid for a second. <laughs> and you boop her on the nose and she just kind of like faintly smiles. Uh, and then you like, I sort of, sort of like walk down the spiral staircase of the hole that leads down into this uh, kind of bottom area where you see there's multiple kind of activities going on here. This is where people come and play like blackjack, poker, all the things you saw at like the casino, but a little bit more dumbed down to like dice and cards and then there is this just big pit in the corner circular oh. pit that has a uh that has that is kind of raised up by a platform and gated and there's this one center bar in the middle of it and below it just seems to be some sort of like pitfall but you're not sure as you don't as you get closer uh, oh, and i'm so you get happy closer, we've got friends we've got family we've got fighting for honor it seems to be this like oh, murky slosh of like this kind of like blackish brown mud uh tar pit below this like beam and there's people who are kind of up there right now kind of fighting and you see as one of them like throws a punch and the other one just like swings and then falls and <laughs> falls into this mud pit and it's absolutely disgusting and uh Lizzie's kind of like rolling the sleeves up again and you can see she's very well built and strong uh, uh, and broad and she kind of uh yells out me and this one for f one fucking round. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Winner against the other person's ship. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know if... Ship, uh, don't be don't... a fucking pussy. I mean, she starts don't to walk up a... the steps. <laughs> don't be a fucking pussy, Chip. You wouldn't be fighting for fuck? honor if there was nothing at stake, Chip. Go! Why is everyone okay with this? Well, what oh, do you check mean? this out, Eden. That's Lizzie. She's awesome. <laughs> okay. I, I, but uh, I but her, actually. but I'm awesomer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Chip. <laughs> Let's do this. They call him, they call him a bear bare knuckles bare knuckles hey, rib Ollie, knuckles wanna, chip. They call him rib knuckles chip. Want to watch your uncle get? Fucked. They call <sighs> me Drip Lord. I, I pick boy. up I pick up Ollie and, and put him on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> He's like bright red. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> Your uncle Chip's gonna get the <laughs> shit kicked out of him. Watch. <laughs> um, I couldn't have asked for a better introduction to the crew, Eden. Come watch. So go ahead and, and Chip uh, gets laid out, and we lose everything. <laughs> Chip, go ahead and roll initiative. All uh, right. Let me eight. Oh my god. Okay, Lizzie. Um, are you sure you wanna? She. Uh, she wanna she do this? I don't know if you really advantage. wanna. So she actually had disadvantage. Rolled a. Give me one second. I'm pulling your sheet up because I wasn't expecting this. This wasn't planned. Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't expecting this. Dude, Dude, this is not fucking. I sit lot. back and relax too now. <laughs> she goes first with a twelve initiative. So she, she just, just like puts her back. hands up and she's like <clears throat> swaying, but she's keeping her balance on this this wooden beam, um, which is like weird. She's like going back and forth. And then she just like, uh, uh, charges it back and then just comes forward with this wide haymaker. Uh, and that's, that's, uh, oh. Is that with disadvantage? <laughs> that's a, disadvantage. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay, that's worse. That's a 12 to hit. No. <clears throat> okay, then these are just unarmed strikes, by the way. As she, as she comes in for the hit, I kind of just like lean back. I don't know if you want to do that one. Yeah, still time to back out. <laughs> uh, and then you watch as as you miss you guys kind of uh, <clears throat> as she misses she almost slips but she's able to catch her, her her footing and just kind of like balance herself out with both of her arms and come back and get in this fighting stance right in front of your face you're up what do you do uh, standing in front of her I don't even really want to hit her I just um, I'm just kind of moving around her keeping my balance are we standing on a beam yes Yes, you do need to keep your balance from here, and I will explain that in a second after you take your attack. Okay, um, so all I really want to do... It's a pretty thin wooden beam. Kinda... You can only stand in, like, a, a fighting stance. You can't really do two feet at once. Is there is there anything, like, hold, like holding this up? Like, chains? Like, uh, holding it to the ceiling? No. Or what's what's holding it up? 
Think of it as it's like a race platform, almost like a dunk okay. tank. And there's just a wooden beam thrown across it, and it's filled with this murky, disgusting liquid <clears throat> or sloshy mud. All right. Um, I want to possibly like kind of like a big ass she's... hot tub pit. <sighs> as she goes in for that that wild punch, um, I I, I do that that kind of step back, mm -hmm. and as she picks her hands back up, I want to kind of slide up behind her and, and stand behind her and. Um, with my bandana, I want to make myself look like her. <laughs> she turns around and she like sees herself and she raises her eyebrow. I raise my eyebrow at her. <laughs> I try and mimic everything she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You fucking little You fucking little bitch. And you see- That poker nose. You... Bitch. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna- Fucking fold you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I close my eyes for a second. Which uh, one's the real? Look, look at her. Ooh, I'm shaking. She points her hand out and like touches your nose when you do it to her. But this time, mm -hmm. underneath the eye starts to glow. Or underneath the eye patch is that purple glow, and um, that's what she does on her turn. And uh, you just, you just see that. That's it. Okay. Oh, I should have asked about that. Fine, you know what? I'll give you a chance to fucking hit me if you want to be a clown. Uh, since you wanna... always lose these kinds of competitions. All right. Yeah, I have a feeling this one's gonna be pretty easy though. Uh, and I want to maybe. Okay, I'll. Sh I just want to shove her, and like move move to the side of her and and push her like on her side, like like lean over, and boop. Okay. Um, just for moving around. Go ahead and make acrobatic check. 18. All right. You're able to, with your fancy footwork, swiftly <clears throat> move. What is shove in D&D? &D? Athletics. Um, contested athletics. I okay. Okay. So go ahead and roll athletics. 15. <laughs> How are you shoving her? Oh, God. I just want to, like, push, like, move over to the side and kind of, like, poke her ribs almost like a tickle. Okay, and, so you're not pushing her, are you pushing her off the beam? I'm, yeah, I'm trying to push her off the beam, but I'm like flavoring it as like a tickle. Okay. Like a beep. She definitely gets pushed. <laughs> but, uh, okay, she's able to keep her footing, but just barely. One of her feet falls into the, like the, the, the murky, I'm just gonna call it mud now, kind of falls into the mud tar pit. And uh, she's like holding herself up like a one-legged squat as she's like, like almost about to fall over. She looks, she like just readjusts herself using her hands and gets her feet back into place. And she looks up to you. <sighs> Should have pushed a little harder, bastard. <laughs> oh, you better be careful, Lizzie. I'm not sure if a mud bath is the kind of bath you need. And now she gets uh. <laughs> you just call everyone stinky all the time. <laughs> Sorry, they are. It's up. funny. Everybody's so stinky smelly. Hey. You, just, so you just got done smelliest. describing my odor at length. It's true. It's different. I'm a fish. She rolls it. <laughs> she rolls it ten to hit. Even with a straight roll? <laughs> no. All right. All right. So she kind of does the same thing where she runs forward. And this time she like darts forward with a little bit more technique as she's trying to sober up, but she can and she sways too much. And you kind of like also move your head in just the right way. And you're laughing at her at this point and she misses and uh, goes wide and she has to roll. Okay. She has good dex saves. So, yep. She, uh, she continues to stay on the beam with you. Your turn. What are you doing? Are you even going to try and fucking hit me and make it fair, huh? I, I just want to trip her and make her fall off. Okay, so you're trying to like- Come on, Lizzie, legs. girl yeah. power. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your athletics. Natural 20. Oh! <laughs> I don't even know why I'm rolling. Um, <laughs> I <w> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 11. She only gets an 18 total. What's your total? Uh, 22. Okay. Yeah, uh, you are able to successfully kick her feet out from under her. And, um... I would say at that point she kind of slams her like hip and ribs on the side of the uh, the beam and they just Hello? at the Ooh. same time flip right over and <laughs> kind of uh, uh, slosh into the the, the pit. <laughs> <laughs> when she when she falls down into this little pit, uh, I just would like to give a little bow and come back up and I look like me again. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, as soon as you come back up and you're you, everyone just kind of uh, erupts into cheers. You guys gathered a lot of uh, uh, attention because you have this almost mm. performance of your 
display it's a it's like it's a very per performative display of your acrobatics kind of jumping around like a mm -hmm. like a fairy on the on the beam here <laughs> and messing with lizzie who has a reputation obviously and she falls into the pit and she her head comes up as she sits up and everyone just kind of like cheering and clap clapping while her head as her head comes up and she starts looking around clears her face She's gonna see me jumping in to do a cannonball and slot more oh of this mud onto her. <laughs> Woo! Oh sh fuck! And then you just, you just uh, and then she kind of like as as everything clears, anyone who's standing next to the sides, like right next to it, gets sloshed. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's like, uh, she gets she begins to chuckle as well, and eventually uh, she shouts out to uh, by anyone who was watching the fight. Yeah, a round of alcohol, and you guys all kind of head back up after somewhat cleaning up. Caspian uses pre mm -hmm. prestidigitation once again to <laughs> can I, can I clean up Lizzie. Just before we get, just before we get cleaned up, I want to jump up out of the pit and go over to to Gillian's sister, and just oh, covered in mud. Uh, oh, I uh, I don't believe we've met. And I hold out my hand, covered in mud, just dripping. I'm Chip. Her hand goes up to her mouth as her cheeks kind of puff as if she makes she makes that sort of gagging sound and she kind of looks up, <laughs> <laughs> looks to the right, <laughs> and then she puts her hand up. She's like, "No, no, I'm it's I'm okay. I, I'm very you sorry. It's just it's you a very it. it's a very strong smell that you're sporting at the moment. I I don't mean it to be offensive." <laughs> And uh, she does, she does not shake your hand. Obviously, <laughs> she just kind of like takes I a step back. Hold it there for a second, and then I kind of slick my hair back with it. Slick <laughs> the mud, off. mud everywhere. <clears throat> All right. And you guys head up to the uh, first floor again, at the ground floor, pretty much, and find a, a large round table, uh, sort of in the back, per Eden's request, just kind of away from the heart of the environment. As uh, she's just kind of whispering to Caspian of like, where she would like to be, and you guys sit down, and you're all around each other. Can I start sobering up? <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll go ahead and roll a con save. Yeah. <laughs> Before Chip pulls the worst prank known to humankind ever. I'm Good just luck, gonna bro. give you a tattoo. Oh, that's a bad roll. That's a bad roll. Five. You're still. You you're still. Because it's yeah. still disadvantage. Oh still pretty man. Oh, a bit drunk or like fully. I mean, no you're still drunk. drunk. It takes time to get. Out of being okay. drunk, so you it's just your don't... destiny. It's your destiny. <clears throat> I don't, you know, I don't even know if her inhibition depends on where he's asking her to get a tattoo. Depends on how bad it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think but, there's um, there's some inhibitions that still exist, no matter how drunk you get. Yeah, but you're not doing that just yet. You guys kind of all sit yeah. around mm -hmm. a table together, and um, so. Yeah, I kick my feet up in the air. I'm just like, <laughs> way too proud of myself. All right, everyone. Good to be back together again, and uh, it's been a while, I suppose. Caspian starts talking to everybody, and uh, of course, like, Lizzie's head is like on the desk. <laughs> She's like, <laughs> like snoring. Sm uh, Jay's, Jay's small. head is in her hands. Quietly. That's Just right. Saying. What has everyone gotten up to today? It's been a good day. Oh yes, yes, it has been a good day. Apple's Gillian. a magical bird. Apple's a magical what? bird, Gillian. Apple's a magical bird. Oh, <laughs> well, I yeah. know. No, 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 no. Apple is not apple. Well, apple is apple, but like no, apple is apple. Like apple a... oranges. Apple, apple, apple's like an orange. What? This apple's not a bird, is what I'm so trying to say. Apple, apple, apple is no, an she's orange. She's definitely a bird. Is that what you found no, out there? She's actually no. a fruit. She's a no, not a fruit, Orange? Gil. She's like, she's like, I don't know. She said some kind of magic it made apple into a bird. Who who did? It was um, uh, it was uh, this really pretty fox lady. Her name was Amber. That doesn't make any sense. If apple's not a bird, then why does she keep flying around and following us? I don't get. That it might either. make more sense why she's flying around and following us. Maybe she's like a person. No. I'm gonna say something. No, I've listened. I haven't been up here long, but I've met people and I've met birds. And I'm 65% sure that Apple is a bird. Apple's a bird a right bit. now. But maybe at one point she wasn't a bird and then somebody made her a bird. Interesting. You know, I find it strange that your name is Jay. What? Maybe Jay's the bird. Jaybird! Oh my god! 
Jay, are you a bird? I'm gonna go try to fly. Serious right question. outside the door. <laughs> <laughs> Jay I is didn't realize birds could be people and people could be birds. This changes mm. everything. Yo, I think she outside might be a you bird. hear. Try to decide if you hear a thump or a splash. You don't hear anything <laughs> because you're very far away yeah, from that's... the entrance. <laughs> well. How much, how much fall damage would you say? I'm gonna say 15 <laughs> feet. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Today is awesome. Roll 3d6. <laughs> Eight. Sure. Yo, please remind me never to forget about this day. I'm not telling I didn't you that you hear a crash, so I think she's a bird. <laughs> so, uh, you... You never mentioned you had a sister. It's... I... Yeah, I guess with everything happening i think i said it to jay but i guess it never came up with this which is a shame she's wonderful again oh um, yeah she's she, always she seems, kind of been there for me she seems lovely uh like like i said my name is chip i'm the uh right we already captain this. of the of the albatross yeah we do this co-captain thing where we're all yeah, i'm of... like the most captain though well not how we've decided <laughs> like it, really. the first captain pretty much i like, kind of run things in around chronological there. order you know, run sure. a real tight ship <laughs> Ah. Uh, yep, the Albatross is the ship we got. A, got a big crew out there. Around. Do a lot of adventuring. She kind of laughs. Guys. We have a decrepit old man that crushes fruit with his feet and a and a broken, <laughs> a, bro a broken amnesiac that shoots lasers out of his eyes. <laughs> All of those things are also true, but it's cool. Like in also a, cool way, a boy who became a man who is now a boy again. So do you have like a crew or anything? You you know, or anybody in your life? <laughs> People. <laughs> <laughs> she laughs nervously uh, at this whole like barrage of storytelling from you two, and um, she says, I "I've <laughs> I've learned about um some some things about pirates and how it works. Although a, a co-captain order is is fairly innovative." Oh yeah, it's one of my great ideas. I uh, I I know a little. It's great to hear that you guys have such a wonderful company surrounding you. Oh my God! Wait, uh, you haven't, I guess, seen everyone yet. Uh, and I and I reach down and I <laughs> pull out, still in her little oh. octopus globe, uh, pretzel and uh, sort of <laughs> open it up. Oh my gosh, it's eating. pretzel! This little girl loves me so much. Oh, oh she's so Jesus. big now. I know. Her oh, eyes light up as you pull pretzel out, and, and she kind of, like, brings pretzel out of the little uh, flask and holds her up. And pretzel is, like, waving her arms violently as she's been waiting to say hi. <laughs> she's been she's been keeping us safe. Um, But there at first there's, like, a hint of uh, non-recognition, but, like, once she just gets the, the, the sight and the touch closeness yeah. again, she just immediately remembers and... She's just kind of like making her little high pitched flirt, f flirting, Fl not flirting, um, whirling noises. Uh, <laughs> she's very happy, bubbling noises. And yeah. Eden says, I'm so glad that she's been able to bend with you this whole time. Me too. I don't know if I could have gone through everything or even, I don't know, started without her. I uh, <laughs> just wanted you to have somebody whenever we, um, whenever you were, because you seemed so lonely back then. And We don't have to do this uh, right <laughs> now. Perhaps. Why not? We could, what's wrong? We can do this right now. What's, what's the problem? And to answer your question, I don't have, um, I, I'm also sorry for being here in my work clothes. I, I sort of just make drinks for a, a, a restaurant. Oh, apologies, oh. shame. I just looked at this huge armor. <laughs> just like a huge dense. I, I would like to be more dressed up to give a better uh, impersonation to the friends of my uh, little brother, no. but... Don't even worry about it. You look great. Jay walks back in at this point, holding her arm, looking a little bit nervous. <laughs> you look better than us in most cases as well. So, not, not hard to impress us. Why do I think that I was a bird? I guess I, I have our- you are a bird. I have our parents no. back home. I, I have a- 
I have, uh, I have, uh, Caspian is a good friend. Oh, uh, Lizzie is not, this is our second time meeting. And she, Lizzie is... Uh, <laughs> she's, right. she's great. Um, we get, we get along really well. How are... She's kind of like a little sister to me. <laughs> you can make sure she's all right. Take care of her. <laughs> How are the, uh, the parents? I, um, well, I, I try to go home. Uh, as much as I can, but they, uh, they don't, they don't know that I'm up here. I don't think they know that you're up here either. I would be very surprised if they did. So wait, how wouldn't they know? You didn't, you didn't say anything before you left? I'm sure they could find out if they checked. Gilliam, weren't you like banished? Where else would you go? Okay, Jay. It's complicated. Fox Eden, was I you. banished? Because, you know, it's starting to feel like that's the case. Kind of worrying. She puts her, she puts your hand, her hand on your face to, to ease you for a moment, or, or I kind of like a, in a caretaker way, and she says, no, no, no. Whatever, whatever they, decision they, they made. did everything right. There is nothing wrong with you, Gil. That is why I came up here, and I don't believe what they did was right. The problem is not with you, but with our elders. So I came here. Thank you, but I mean, they're the elders. <laughs> if anyone was well informed to make a decision, it would be them. I don't know what they've told you, or what you grew up learning. And I'm sure that a lot of it, a lot of it is going to start not making any sense. It stopped as soon as I got up here. So, hey, uh, real quick. Hi, Chip again. Oh, um, <laughs> sorry, I, um, just, did you guys, you didn't grow up together? I mean, you, you said how he, you don't know how he grew up. And, you, and you're his sister, right? Wouldn't you know? These are the things that I am here to learn. Inside the, the, the palace, inside the council chambers, there isn't too much room for friends or uh, family, per se, when duties are required and so you had duties is this it are we doing it <laughs> what do you mean are these the duties are these right the now? duties i don't know <laughs> no i wish these were the duties this is um this is nice the duties were not not always nice um well you you, you can't be the hero without you know the know-how and the the training and the magic and the, the sword play and um well, it just doesn't always leave room for much else, especially when, um, especially when you need some extra lessons or, uh, you blow something up you're not supposed to or poke someone yeah. in the gills a little too hard. Um, but Eden is, and Pretzel are uh, two of the only reasons I got through it as long as I did. Not that I... Yeah, everyone has a choice to be a hero, but not that I had a... You know, too much of one. They let me visit a lot when he was younger. The moment I found out... In a less than direct way... That he had been sent away... Months after I had been not allowed to see him, I knew something was wrong. So since yeah, then, I've like been... It. I've been going against the grain a little and looking into uh, our elders. We have the elders who essentially, in your terms, are like the navy of our undersea. Except well, okay, well, definitely not the navy of our undersea, right, Eden? No. Kind of sounds no. like it. Not, 
Not, not, I just mean in terms of governance. Govern, govern? They, they govern, they, they keep the peace. And, um, make sure everything works as it should. Gil, if these people took you from your family and didn't give you a choice, I mean, they don't sound much better than the Navy. Well, it's not really that simple. And Eden, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have found a way to tell you what had happened, or, or at least let you know I was okay. Gillian, it's not your it's so fault. so dangerous to get here. I mean, Nothing that you have been through has been in your control. And none of it is your fault. The only things that matter are the things that you do yourself in the present. And the path that you carve for yourself for the future. I really missed having you here. <laughs> uh, you alright, Gil? Yeah, yes. Um, it's just... Um, she, she just, like, rubs your, you know, the upper back. It's just been a while with just pretzel, you know? I mean, we were here, too. <laughs> of course, <laughs> and you two are my best friends in, in the sea. It's just... If you were suddenly dropped in the middle of the ocean, surrounded by strange creatures that didn't share your ideas or understand what you were, why? And yet you held these things with such conviction. It's... It's easy to become a representation. So I'm... It's just a lot. I don't know where all this is, is uh, coming from. <laughs> I haven't even had anything to drink. Besides those couple... Oh, the sloshy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh the sloshy will hey, you it's, up it's, uh, Oh, the sloshy will do it. No, it's all right. It's all right. I didn't, I didn't know you had uh, a sensitive side, Gillian Tidestrider. Just because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yes. I just have... Two sides, and both are destiny. That is extremely untrue. No, it's- <laughs> so we'll talk about true. this later. I'm glad to see you. Anyway, trying to Trying to do a thing. It's okay to be happy that your sister's here. You don't have to be the face of destiny every- <laughs> Every minute, you know? I get it. I it's tough up here. We're not like you. I had mentioned, um, before that I, I had mentioned this to Caspian and to Gillian as we were on our way here, I, I, uh, I could use your assistance if you're, yeah, you yes, I mean, we'd sure. be honored yeah, I, in I any, in that. any way, anything I could do to make this yeah, it's, I mean, you. it's just, you know, I gotta check and see, I got a couple of things to get to, got, just got a new ship, gotta check on that, but, um, it's half, it's probably <laughs> already yeah. sunk, yeah, I mean, like, I could check the schedule, get back with you, and we can, like, help you with whatever, there is no making up for anything, Killian, if anyone owes someone something, it's me for not being able to be there, you just say what you need help with, and so, me and my fellow captains will be there. As I was saying, we, um, I, I looked into, in, in my own way, in the only ways that I could, I, I tried to learn more and get closer with the elders and how our city works and what their goals are. And I've been looking into... Although it's... She, like, looks around. Everyone is just in their own, like, little world in this place. It's so loud. None of the things that you're saying are even remotely being picked up on or looked at. Unless That's you guys want to... That's probably good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you guys want to make a perception check. Um, I don't think I'd be looking around. I'm not... For the most part, so good just that. from your passive drunk, perceptions, drunk. nothing, even with your observant drunkenness, Nothing seems out of, no one seems to be paying attention to you guys other than you're really colorful and you're a lot of people, but there's a lot of people like that in here, so it doesn't matter. But she looks around and she says, not, not getting into much danger, which is why it's easy for me to work at the, at the, at the tank underneath Madam. And 
I have you guys uh, got to unionize. I'm telling you. I think the Navy is going to try and create an artificial Leviathan. What's that, like a boat? <laughs> what is that? Oh. <laughs> you guys remember Dukon, my boy? The guy you fed Holy the funny shit. ball to? Now, there's... There's things out there. Gods of the Undersea much bigger than Dukon. What, Eden, what do you mean, artificial Leviathan? I mean, I think they're going to try and make through whatever means they have available to them a god of the undersea to oppose our gods that's crazy they can't do that say do you know anything about this they very much can <laughs> they just have shooty guns and big boat so they i think they wanna... she's a little would... under the uh, you know bar of uh, yeah. conversation yeah. pun intended why would they want to go go to war with the undersea and the pirates at the same time. This is my... I, I shouldn't be too involved in order to answer those questions. I think Lizzie would be a better person to talk to. When she is uh, away... Yeah. We, uh, Lizzie? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have to wait on that one. Eden, how... Where did you learn this? I cannot say. Just in case. And... How is this going to happen? Where will it happen? We have to stop it. That's what I was going to ask for. I myself... You don't need to ask. I'll explode it. I can't, um... Well, first of all, this requires not bringing that much attention. Unless you want uh -huh. to deal with the consequences. So, I'll just get to the point. Raft HQ... Is above us. It's the third level. They've set it up here very recently to create all ports into their own. It's not quite. What do they? What do they call it, Caspian? Mm. What she's saying is the all port is still neutral. They can't technically arrest any pirates for being here, and they can't technically take anyone hostage or 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 the, or the likes. It's still neutral, but. With so time, the cloaks, the what the ones that they were saying to wear uh, when you got up higher. Yeah. Um. So he was saying, with time, they definitely, absolutely will have the means to create this into a navy. It's a navy's place now, and um. If you ask, you ask why the cloaks in character. Mm -hmm. Eden says, because I um. I don't think undersea citizens are safe around the Navy. Yes, despite what they say about neutral ground, I can't say I believe such a thing. I don't... I'm... I'm uh, I am uncertain that neutral soil pertains to underwater... Fuck soil. Fuck soil. Fuck soil. I yeah. think... It's only good for mud. Dang shit. On the Hold third... Hold on my fist. I bump it with Gillian. In the third no, level... Salt water or fresh or, water? Sorry, on, on the third level... Somewhere in headquarters. I believe they have... The information is there. Document or something. That leads to wherever they are creating... This artificial... Leviathan. If they are doing it. And all I need... Is that location. Are you asking us to break into a very secure place... Full of people that could kill us? Consider it done. That's funny. We do that like too much. <laughs> maybe just <laughs> once. one more time. I can't remember how many times has it been, Chip? Is it just the one? Uh, I understand if you have other things that you need to attend to. Who? Other other things besides stopping the the underwater mech god? Do you guys have anything else going on? Well, kinda. <laughs> 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 like what? I don't know. I mean, we should have to find Finn, right? Your grandfather. Is, that's your grandfather, too. It's, <laughs> it is my grandfather, and he would never want something like no, this but maybe upon he the help. world. Gil, I, I have to make it very clear. I only need the location, and from there I want to take care of it myself. I could... 
We can't send you to do something like that. But you alone? can't cause a scene here in Allport because people have lives here. People have shops, homes, and families. And if you disrupt that as pirates, it will cause a lot of burden and grief for the people that don't deserve it. It is not something mm. very easy to pull off. Even what's a, what if it's our destiny? It is never your destiny to put other people in danger. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Got you, bro. I'm sorry. Yeah, she did. She got me really good. She does that. We can figure out where it is, right? We can we can figure out all that stuff. Um, can't promise we're not gonna blow it up. If I see something like that, I'm gonna come like this close to blowing it up at least. But we do need to find your grandfather. Uh, that's that's another thing we have to do. Uh, do you know anything about where he might be? Or I have very little memory of Finn. He was always in the, um, oh, mind you, I, I, Gillian was a, a boy and I wasn't even a teenager. Mm. Uh, so, so no, no I know contact he, or anything? I know he was the first to go to the, to the overseas and he was brilliant. Brilliant man. Yeah, we read his book on sex. <laughs> <laughs> Insightful stuff. Well, I, um... Your grandpa got it on. Many times. I'm guessing the information I'm didn't hoping, really... Hoping he did some other work as well. Sink in. It's mostly you, just that. Oh, that I've seen. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were talking about any, any leads to just find Finn or know where Finn is. Oh, right. I didn't know he was alive still. Well, we don't is. either, but we, we think he might... Oh, right. You've got No, the, he is. Yeah. If he, it, well, if, if he is alive, that is, he might know a lot about the burden or the weight that you hold, Gillian. Yeah. You might have a lot of answers. And he could help us blow up the thing. Answers, right. Um, th there will come a time for those, I'm sure. Um, but for now, with this in front of us... I I feel like it's our it's our duty to to see our this duty? first. I look over at Eden like almost sheepishly. Our destiny. <laughs> it's my boy. I would very much appreciate it because there, I can't be involved. I can't be known to. I can't honestly be associated with any of you publicly. And um, but I. I can't really go up there at the moment, and I can't risk going up there myself, quietly, or however well, they do it. Hey, uh, we got a... Pirate-like? I don't, I don't know if it's, uh, I don't mean to brag or anything, but, like, we have a pretty significant bounty on us. I don't know if we're going to be able to get up there uh, without being, you know, arrested. We'll try, though. We've snuck places before. <laughs> no, that's true. Uh, uh, ship's got the bandana of disguise. Jay's a bird. I can become a really convincing old lady. <laughs> that's true. That's I really some, true. I need something. I need something. Wait, Gil, you've never been an old lady. No, I'm Gillian Tidestrider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. And... You ready for a new title? Does have Grandma? Sound that's to it. That's I funny. do like. I do like adding to them. What do you okay. mean by Jay is a bird? Oh, she's a bird. Oh, she's, she's a bird. Yeah, she's a bird. a bird. We figured this out earlier. I tried. Yeah, it's like a whole thing. She I like flies and stuff. The magic yeah, show her. Show her, Jay. Jump tightly, tightly knit around. Yeah, her. She Jay, doesn't show her. Do, do the flying. I do the flying. <sighs> she just has to believe in it. She's, yeah, do your like a, do your bird thing. You always do. She can. Yeah. She can fly as as well. Yeah, like no, she can. She can. She can. Yeah, I've seen her jump and like for a second at the top. I'll try again. They right. stand up out of the chair, go. and I just kind of jump and fucking face plant. <laughs> you see it there? Yeah, for she, a second, for a second, it was there. For a, for a brief moment, uh, before you, as you're standing up, Eden has that, like, adorable curiosity and confusion that you would see on Gillian's face whenever he doesn't uh -huh. understand something on the Oversea. And then as soon as she hits the ground, she, like, recoils in, uh, <laughs> like, empathy, <laughs> like, feeling the pain. Um, yeah, she's, uh, she's still working on it. Um. I'm not a bird. I'm not a bird. <laughs> it hurts. Well, she lays on the ground. She doesn't get back up. <laughs> Ollie, do you want to help up Miss J? I think, uh, oh, I think yeah, she's yeah. a tired bird. Uh, 
And he like tries to like lift her up. Uh, <laughs> and and <laughs> Jay. Yes. Jay, roll a deck save. <laughs> yes. Do I still have yes! this advantage? Uh no. Yeah, this it should isn't... be. No, yeah, I, I guess that's She's they... fucking sloshed. I guess that would be disadvantage, yeah. I wasn't sure. Oh my god. Oh man, why am Did... I? I'm just rolling nothing good today. Did deck save. Okay. Yes. You go ahead. You can. You. <laughs> Let me. Um. Has he attuned to it? How did he do that? Oh God, yes, he has. He's Ollie, dude. He can do whatever. It's a he short wants. rest. <laughs> That's my boy. It's a short rest, and we've been talking. That's my for a son short right rest. there. I'm a father. God damn it. You take four points, four points of bludgeoning damage as Ollie lifts you up into the ceiling, splintering some of the wood that it's made out of, and then. Ow. You take an additional point of damage as you hit the ground again. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Miss J, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry. I didn't know you could do oh, that. No. Yeah, he's uh, he's really coming to a, coming into his own. He's been working out. Right, Ollie? <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna... I can't wear this. I'm, I'm gonna be a murderer. No, 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 Ollie. It's, it's fine. She's fine. It hurts. Jay. It hurts so bad, my Jay. ribs. I think I broke my ribs. Good morning. How do wake up? I'm not asleep. My ribs. Come on. I think they're come broken. Come on. Come on. Let me help. I go to help her up. Uh, <sighs> Let's go get you a tattoo, buddy. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. <sighs> I'm in too much pain already. I want to. I want to lead her to the. Okay, yeah. then let's go get some rest. <laughs> All right, you're right. Let's just let's get you a nice place to sleep this off. I bring her to the tattoo place. Okay. You walk up to this guy who is very bald and he has tattoos on the skulls, all over mm -hmm. uh, on his skull, uh, of skulls <laughs> that kind of go down his neck. Um, Holy shit! And he's covered in tattoos from head to toe, pretty much. Uh, he. Offers you normal tattoos, which is uh, one gold per hour, pretty much. And then he also okay. offers magical tattoos. What? Magical tattoos? What? Oh, okay. I know what I want to give to Jay. I don't want to give her an actual Jaybird. I want to give her like a Jaybird feather. It'll look like... Hang what on. Are, how much do magical that. tattoos cost? However... Also that. Also that question. <laughs> a small magical tattoo is 2,000 gold pieces. Holy fucking shit, we do not have that much money. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Just normal tattoo. Can normal uh, tattoos become magic tattoos later? <laughs> uh, you can get your tattoos uh, infused, imbued, imbued with yeah. uh, magical ink, yes. What does hey, a magic hey, tattoo hey. even mean? So magic tattoos magic. at low power, basically like small, low power tattoos, 2,000. Medium power, 5,000. High power, 15,000. Ooh. 15, Ooh, what does a high-powered tattoo do? Yeah, we'll come to it when you have the money, but it's ba it's basically like... Um, you think of it like the tattoos in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, if mm. you guys... Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. I have no idea what you're talking basically, about. Basically, he has tattoos on his arm that let him perform certain... Magics. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> Listen, I, I, well, I rolled high pulling. enough to, to probably recover from drunkenness, but I'll allow it. You can also get tattoos that, like, increase your... AC by one and stuff. I was worried you're gonna try to get me to get a face tattoo or some bullshit. No, <laughs> I would give you a little tear if I could, but I know I couldn't give that to you. I wouldn't allow it. I Jay know you wouldn't. To me. <laughs> I know you would. I know you would just see that as a stain <laughs> on your character. I would just. I would kill Chip and character. What are you gonna? Uh, I want. I want to give Ollie like a very small version on his arm right there. Of the, of the little like, of our pirate flag. Okay. Um. And for Chip, what I want to do is I want it's it'll probably be a a a big a tall order. Um. So I want to have. Um. Let me pull up the image. This is what <laughs> you would be doing for the rest of the night. Yeah, that's fine. So I pretty much want waves coming up around both of the arms. Um, kind of moving up the shoulders and then along the collarbones and then kind of up the up the throat area and then up around to like crawl up the jawline to the ear um, on both sides and then also just waving around like the chest as well. Throat tattoo, baby. 
bold. So it'll You're be going all in. two gold for Ollie and Jay. Okay, I'll pay for it. Egg for yours, expedited to not be fucking... Um, Three days? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be around 24 gold for okay. the big order. So 26 gold in total. Yep. Sweet. I pay it, and I'm tatted. All and right. I hurt, and I don't move for the rest of my life. <laughs> Jay is asleep at the end of it. <laughs> so they pretty much spend their entire night doing that. You can return to your ship to sleep if you want, but Gillian, if there's anything else you wanted to do. Eden, when, when you, by chance, were looking at um, stuff with the elders, did you did you find anything else? What did you find? You'd think I'd have all my questions answered by now, but Gil. there was a lot I wasn't sure about either. It pains me to speak to you in half-truths, but in a setting like this, there are just things that I have to keep close to my chest for now. But I promise. Can I do? Can I do an insight check to see if this is like by choice that she's keeping these things secret? Go ahead and do an insight check. Okay, just because it feels a bit strange. That's an eight. Okay. Um. You're so you can usually read Aiden pretty well, but because she has yeah. this sort of uh, wisdom power over over yourself. Yep. Uh, there's also a kind of like. There's a weird, there's a weirdness that kind of inhibits the ability to really get a clear reading, but yeah, and you, she just, she's a lot different. She doesn't, mm -hmm. yeah, she's, I mean, she's older. You guys are both older now, um, and she seems tougher, mentally, yeah, and determined, but she doesn't seem to be. There doesn't seem to be any fear behind her eyes. Okay. She seems. To know what she's doing. Okay. I trust you. No matter what may come. That's all I ask for. I'm happy to see you, really. And I'm overjoyed to see you. I, and I can't wait to kill the robot god as well. That sounds pretty fucking cool. <laughs> Can I please help with that? The goal, Gillian, is to... Stop them before they even make it. But on the off chance that they're done, <laughs> it would be sort of cool, though. I assume it takes a long time to build something like that. I know, but you gotta understand, coming from, like, where I'm at, just killing robot god with, like, a big sword. I lost my sword as well. Oh. I've just been sort of hitting people with <laughs> miscellaneous objects, I find. It's been cool, though. Do you need a placeholder? Um, where where's Jay's gun right now? You gave it to old man Earl. Oh, shit. Yes, I, um, <gasps> I gave my gun to a, an old man along with all my money, so... Who knows where he is right now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, actually, that, that could be nice. Everything I keep hitting people with breaks, usually. I, uh, I meant actually to ask you, Caspian, um... For some, some help with some sword play techniques I've seen you use, but it's a little hard to do that <laughs> right now <laughs> with just, you know, well, bottles and stools and things. Back on the ship, I think we have blades and and and, and things to possibly share. Although I can only say that as the captain is asleep. There is a. I'm sure there's also a you know, blacksmith <laughs> on the second. Uh, you know the circuit market. I keep, you know, I keep hoping that maybe we'll just bump back into Jay's dad and he'll still have my sword in him. I really did like it. I really did. Yeldus gave it to me, you know, and I don't know. Maybe it is time for a new chapter. Why don't you just borrow mine? And he, Cat, no, he Caspian, goes to his, I his, couldn't uh, do that. His waist, and he just kind of unbuckles this black leather strap that was kind of hidden underneath of the sash that keeps his uh, vest kind of closed, or semi-closed, it exposes the chest. And he just kind of, like, puts the, the, it's not the holster, it's the... The sheath? Yeah, the sheath and stuff on the table, gently. I can't accept this, friend. How are you going to stab evil? You know, it might not be our style, but it's a pretty, uh... 
It's one of my greatest treasures I've found, and I'm willing to lend, a, lend it off for a bit to find your old sword. And I've been, I've been need to, you know, the captain says you need to practice, oh, you know, hydromancy more. So maybe if I have the, I can't rely on my sword, then I can just... You, you pushed a boat for eight days. Oh my God, how much does she want? <laughs> it's, a, it's a mutual agreement. I mean, if I had been able to control the waves when a terrifying beast of a phoenix of a man... Split really, our really, ship in half. Really then pretty, pretty scary. We would still have a boat and not have to stay here for an extended period of a time to get it repaired or built anew. And if you guys are leaving so soon, by all means, carry this weapon with you. It'll be okay, like having another, uh, another friend watching your back. Then he, and he wings up pretzel and she blushes. <laughs> if you say things like that, I can't refuse. Um,. Here, I, it would be a shame if I feel like I should give you something as well. <laughs> At least just, just for the meantime, I I can't keep just accepting favors, so please, take this. I, I'm gonna uh, give my immovable rod for now. Oh. This has helped me in times of need when I needed to stay steady despite the odds. Hope it holds true for you as well. I accept this treasure exchange, and he reaches his hand out, and a part of the code, all deals are ended with a shake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are also the other parts? Uh, I'm going to shake his hand. Mm -hmm. Of the code? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Because where... I'm starting to get a feeling there may be more of them. This is another question for Lizzie on another day. At the moment, I'm going to get her back to the... Well, well. Back to our half ship. Hopefully, Rudith and Marshall John have found that, a place to stay. How is that still even afloat, honestly? <laughs> Magic. Of course. Makes sense to me. <laughs> Eden, uh, if you wish, I don't know if you have a place here, but you are always welcome on the Albatross. I would love to see your ship. You could have some of Old Man Earl's foot juice. <laughs> it's delicious. I'd love to see your ship. I can't stay the night. But I will return to the tank in the morning. All right. Should you I'll need to find them? That, um... <laughs> that document... There are many ways to gain information in this city. And if you're able to... It would be a great help. But if not, though it may take more time, I can find a way. Hey, you... You need not worry about such things. It's my destiny now, alright? I'll take care of it. <laughs> and if the... And if Raft blows up, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Our eyes will up. There's so much It's fuller of life up here. Weirdly freeing. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. And with that, you guys all, I assume, kind of collect yourselves together and exit very late at night. Uh, Eden would have head out at that moment, and then shortly after, Caspian would piggyback ride Elizabeth out of the Pub and you guys would be kind of going around and just hanging and, and enjoying the scenery until it gets too quiet and Chip's finished with his tattoos. You guys begin to head out of uh, porthole and back towards your ship. Could I also just get one more tattoo? Oh, just on my back. Um, one of a coral crown and another of a little blue jay. That's cute. That's cute, bro. <laughs> yeah. You guys exit the porthole all together, holding Jay up. You're walking through the uh, plank wood made streets and uh, sort of you're, you're, you're ascending back up 
and uh, walking through. Uh, it's hard to. It's not hard to traverse, but it's a. It's a definitely a maze for you guys to get uh, back up to the second level in order to return to your ship. Who's kind of like leading the? Um, I would say Ollie, but I guess me. So Gillian, are you holding Jay up? Or are you in the back? Uh, I'd be holding Jay up. Yeah. So Gillian, go ahead and roll perception check. Oh no. Jay's basically passed out. <laughs> yeah, our fucking one person who's good at it. Uh, 11. Yeah. Just as you guys are walking, you pass by one of these, like, uh, small s alleyways in between uh, structures or buildings, kind of like uh, little shacks that are up here, getting closer towards the top of uh, this town, uh, uh, town, port town. And you hear a coughing and you look down and you see a little droplet of crimson blood that just kind of sparkles underneath the moon and catches your attention and you hear that coughing and then you immediately see a trail that leads into like this darkness of the small alleyway <laughs> i immediately divert okay do you let go of jay uh i would just i would probably just do it honestly like first thing I think of, so I probably just still have Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I would throw yeah. Jay over my back and just begin running into an alley. Okay. Ow, as I'm walking, I'm just like in so much pain. <laughs> ow, oh, oh, ow, Jim, Gil, Jim, Jim. Gil, where are you going? Gil, 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 so I'm going somewhere. And he starts to run after I, him. <laughs> Gil, hang on, I'm, I'm coming. Ow, ow, oh my God, I'm in so much pain. And Gil, it's you evil first ship. get I'm to coming, the end I'm coming. of this alley where you see uh, um, just get, it gets all the way up to the end of the, like, the wall. And you follow that trail, and then you see, kind of slumped over, clutching the stomach. <coughs> <coughs> oh, fuck. Okay, are you okay? Who, uh... <coughs> and as you get closer, you can see just bleeding profusely from the abdomen. Wait. Old man Earl. No! <laughs> oh, man. As soon as you did the voice, I was like, no way, I was dude. like, it can't fucking be. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the session. What? Yep. That's where we end the session, baby. Oh, man. See you oh, next time no, on no, Just no, Roll no, With no, It. No, 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 <laughs> Fuck you, DM. <laughs> Fuck Listen, you. Fuck you. Grizzly would never kill old man Earl. He loves him too much. He can't. No, he would. He would. And you know he would. He's he's a psychopath. I, listen, I'm trying to make myself feel better, asshole. You're Fuck a sick you. Fuck, Fuck you. Dude, Fuck you. You're Let's talk about how talk bad about of a person he is on Just Rolled With It. Hey, hey, everybody. I just want to quickly stop in and give a special thank you to all our $50 patrons, such as your personal jester, Abby, Katie, and Elliot, Big Yolk42. Cade Six deserved better. Sahara Lester, Wild James, Rick, 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 Sammy Bo the Second, Kev Senpai, The Letter Seven, Finrua, Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear Four One Seven, Juzombo, Grillian Fried Strider, Bosco, Rykord Zin, Artemis Loves You, Definitely Not a Turtle, Everett Stoker, Crobins, Netven, Deathclaw, Scarab Five, Sandy 7 Ben Manny, William Smith, Pill W, Apple, Soul of a Pep, Loki, Cheshire, Misfit Wolverine 15, Blue Blend Blop, Bowling Ball Iron, Zerberus, Neckle Lord, Mr. Griffin, Alyssa, Dream Strider, Obligatory References, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Consumed Cheddar, Raytheon, Creepy Reaper, Serene is actually a skeleton, Material Seaweed, Gillian's biggest fan. Russia Snivy, Cornier Comet, Jumpiest Venus 34, Your Gal Pal Valerie V, Edgy Moss, Riker Kurotu, Nong's Lottle, Salutation, Just Roll With It Enjoyer, and Jay Newell. Thank you guys so much for all your support. We wouldn't be able to do this podcast without you. It seriously means the world. And we'll see you next week. Bye bye.